What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, back with the next video, and we are talking attack meta. What are the strongest army compositions, Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10, because a lot has changed guys. It's no longer the P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat necessarily. There's new strategies, some of which I've talked about before, some of which I have not. Um, so I'm gonna be sharing that all with you guys today. Um, it gives you a better idea of what to focus on for troop upgrading, for practicing your attacks, what to look to use, and also base building, what are you looking to defend right now, um, because you want to be defending these most popular attack strategies. Um, starting it off here at Town Hall 12, defending um, the defending La Loon is important, and this is a, a big strategy you guys want to learn. Um, Sui Hero Lalo, it goes hand in hand with the Sui Hero Hogs. Um, just Town Hall is often relatively exposed. Wall breakers, heroes, maybe like an ice golem and a few wizards. Get your heroes in the base, that's pretty much it. Then just a very well planned Lalo can wreck the rest of the base. It takes a lot of skill, not gonna lie. Um, Stone Slammer has to be utilized well here to kind of take out that part of the base. Help with the pathing. That's what it's doing, it's cutting a path for these balloons to cut across the middle here and get that eagle taken out. Just poisons the CC down. All that's in there is a baby dragon, must have been a hound uh, otherwise, but it won't come out of course. And one thing I want to point out that you may have noticed right around the beginning of this attack, um, by the way, great freeze on the queen and the inferno uh, with the skeleton spell as well to take the queen out. But I want to point out, if you're using wall breakers to let your heroes in and take out the town hall, you only want to use as many wall breakers as you need typically because what ended up happening is there was excess wall breakers they ran to that next layer and right around here this bomb area they detonate right here and the splash damage will trigger the town hall if the town hall is touching the wall because it gets damaged a little bit and that causes the town hall to start damaging heroes well before the queen would otherwise lock onto it so if you can help it um, just don't deploy those extra wall breakers if you don't need them. Just use as many as you need. That way the town hall won't start dealing damage until um, your queen targets it. So keep that in mind. But this was a crushed base. Um, this is the new town hall 12. Takes a lot of uh, skill. It's no longer as much of a spam type meta. It's very much technical. But you can break down these bases and take them out relatively easily if you had the technical skill there. Um, here we go with the next attack here. This one is, you have to keep in mind that it is a cleanup attack. A lot of these are, are not fresh hits, which will not apply to like ESL in some tournaments like that. Um, so because it's a Lava Hound CC, the Queen is being used on the outside of the base here to create a funnel and then to just kind of walk and get all these defenses. She won't lock onto the Lava Hound. Works out very well here. Um, there was a P.E.K.K.A. and a Baby Dragon used to funnel the other side, but you've got to have a good funnel here. And you'll see how much this Kill Squad gets. It's incredible, the value. This Kill Squad is going to take out this entire side of the base and also get all the way over to the Eagle here. Invests the jump and two rages. King just uses the ability. All these bowlers are still alive. I mean, the Kill Squad just does not take any damage, it seems like. Meanwhile, the Queen gets some incredible value. Um, she'll die right along, I think, towards the end here. Um, with the mortars and the Teslas, but she took out so much of this base on her own just walking alongside um, Just incredible value. This is gonna be overkill on this base still has a heal right there um, But yeah guys that this is the new meta. Um, it's gonna be Laloon. It's gonna be hogs It's just about breaking down a base getting the value you can get with your heroes whether it's a small Sui hero whether it's a bigger kill squad and um, we often see bases like this that are segmented you have the town hall and some other stuff on one side then that other like big compartment you have everything else the eagle and all that other stuff um, this is a good strategy to use just kill squad take out the town hall part and then hog the rest uh, crushes this base nice nice attack here to Tom uh, these all coming from a no dip practice war pretty much against LP4 Hades um, definitely had some interesting attacks from it uh, moving along here to number 11 gotta show this new thing I think it's called the hybrid uh, is the name of it and it's relatively new newer than the hogs and the laloon even um, basically it's funneling two different sides then coming in not with miners but with a minor hog combination 
Um, it puts a little more emphasis on taking out defenses, but the miners can take out the queen. They can take out skelly traps. Um, they take out defenses as well when they lock on. So it kind of gets the best of both worlds here, getting the, the value that the miners bring and also the value the hogs bring. Um, so this is kind of a queen charge over here. Uses the slammer just to open things up more or less. Um, then it'll drop right here with the queen. So she'll come in for that inferno tower. Looks like an ice golem and a pekka. That's a good thing to bring in the CC. Um, and gets good value here with the queen charge. And from there, gonna use the king on the other side. It's a typical setup for a, miners at a minor attack, except you're using half hogs, half miners. You can see the breakdown. We have 17 hogs, 13 miners. I'm sending in a miner here just to kind of help take out stuff on the outside along with that P.E.K.K.A. And then I believe the, yeah, here we go with the next part of the attack. King is down and then just leaving a nice pathing into the town hall and also into the middle of the base, which is important to keep everything in the middle. Um, that, that's a big part of this. You don't want things straying to the outside. That rage might not have been necessary because you already have the warden's tome there. Um, there's already all those troops, so the rage didn't speed much up. But has these heals, which are important. King, meanwhile, a little bit late on the ability, perhaps. Um, the king will die relatively early, but he gets kind of what he needs taken out. The barbarians are still alive to help. And the great thing is, even if the miners stray off, the hogs will still stay inside the base relatively. Um, the way that the defenses switch from hog to miner, and the miners dip underground, they retarget. That it works to your advantage. Um, it, it makes it harder for the defenses to really do as much when they're switching targets this much. And also the tornado trap won't affect the miners. So you're getting value from the differences between these two different types of troops. They both benefit from these heal spells in the middle of the base. Um, Queen's healers are dead, but she's still alive. Uh, there's going to be enough miners to take out the rest of the base here. They kind of stray to the bottom, but that typically happens towards the end. Luckily, there's, en there's enough left up to get this job done. Queen gets the Inferno, and there you go. Triple. So th this is a up-and-coming strategy. I might make more videos on it. But that's to give you guys a taste of what's working at Town Hall 12. Um, I think we're moving to Town Hall 11 now. Yeah, we are. But um, that's it for Town Hall 12, guys. Sui Hero Lalo, Sui Hero Hogs, Kill Squad Lalo, Kill Squad Hogs. I mean, we looked at some specific examples, but really you can... Whatever the setup needs to be, and then use that defense targeting on the back end, whether it's Hogs or Lalo, and then also that hybrid strategy you should look to use as well, because um, it can work very well. But that that's pretty much that for the, the most popular stuff at Town Hall 12. Of course, there's going to be other stuff that works. This is just to highlight some of the stuff that I think is working best and you guys should be looking into the most. Next one at Town Hall 11, I want to show, because this has been working a lot, um, it is the uh, earthquake charge with the queen, uh, usually with a Lalo for the rest of it. That's typically um, how you do it because the Lalo doesn't require as many spells. You can afford to use that four spell space on the earthquakes because a lot can be opened up um, more so than the jump spell. The radius is much wider after the update, um, so it gets a lot more open than the jump spell. And it kind of, there's not as many weird things where the queen doesn't take the jump spell. It's more reliable because she can stand where the walls otherwise would be. With a jump spell, she can't stand over the wall. She either has to jump it or not, which I think leads to some of the problems with the pathing. So anyway, the healers start to get taken out, unfortunately, but here comes the stone slammer. Um, this is often a good way to set things up, is to get the value from the stone slammer at the beginning, then to send in the lava hound and the balloons. That way you ensure you get that value of the tankiness of the slammer and kind of save the health of your lava hounds, especially because there's not a whole lot of troop space with five healers being used plus whatever's funneling the queen into the base. Um, so anyway, second Lava Hound, Warden, uh, great Warden value over the uh, those red air bombs, over the Multi-Inferno, the Tornado Trap, protects those balloons, which is important, and then just hasting things through, not too much on the back end. The Eagle does stay up for a little while, but right here it goes down, and it's just that air defense, really, that's going to be an issue. Um, one thing I will say, it's a very specific tip, but if you're doing a queen charge, have like a wizard that you hold on to the end. It can be used for cleanup, but it can also be used to draw the healers across the base. If your queen dies, you don't want like five healers to sit there and get no value. You can use the wizard on the opposite side to pull the healers across the base, and that'll soak up air traps and tank for your Lalo. Um, those healers have quite a bit of hit points, so get the value from them. Bring a wizard, um, and if it's not needed, if the queen's still alive, 
just use it for cleanup. Anyway, uh, that would do it for that one. Definitely something to look out for at Town Hall 11. We're going to move over, um, take a look at one of their attacks now. Um, oops, looks like I still have my notifications on. Um, that's a bit of a throwback, but this next one here is something I've been liking at Town Hall 11 for a while now. It's been working. Um, it's more or less kind of a, a power attack here. By the way, nice funnel there um, with the giants and the uh, giant and few bowlers that kind of create the funnel. Uh, otherwise, I guess could have used a baby dragon, but um, that was pretty reliable there. Then King on the other side. This is more or less just kind of a smash with uh, P.E.K.K.A. and bowlers. But it works against these compact bases, and it's best sometimes not to overthink it too much and just go with what is more reliable here, which in this case, um, you're kind of taking advantage of the fact that the base is compact. You can get uh, the Inferno, the Eagle. Uh, the other Inferno is going to be a little bit trickier to, to access, the one that's near the Queen right now. Uh, but the funnel is great. The King got so much taken out on that side. This works well against the bases that have the like dead space here because um, it really helps set up funnels well if you can take out whatever's on the outside of it. Just comes through, smashes uh, everything with a double jump. That's something, you know, oftentimes we see Wall Wrecker and the Wall Wrecker could have been used easily um, because the Town Hall is exactly opposite here. The reason the jump can be better is first of all, um, the Wall Wrecker takes a long time. Sometimes the troops will retarget, they'll go outside because the Wall Wrecker takes too long to open up walls. The jump spell is immediate. Um, you can access more than the wall wrecker, which goes in a straight line. And then you get to use the stone slammer on the back end. If you don't have bat spells, if you're not doing like a P.E.K.K.A. bow bat, the slammer is almost essential because you need something to go around and take out like that outer layer of the base that's still up once you carve through the middle with your initial push. So here we go. We have a few P.E.K.K.A.s. This is often what you'll have up at the end. You have some P.E.K.K.A.s, your queen, your warden, and some healers. Most of the boulders will have died by now. Um, but the, the value from those balloons is important. If you can find areas on the outside, on the back end, that are mainly Teslas, um, mortars, cannons, they're not going to be able to do a whole lot to your balloons. And in this case, uh, they kind of clean up the outside of the base here. Goes ahead and uses the Queen's ability early. And it's, at this point, it's just about having enough troops left up to take out the remainder. Uh, too hard to predict the exact way this will work out. But you can see three P.E.K.K.A.s still alive, both heroes there, balloons. Nice attack, this is one to look to use guys. Um, it's a little simpler than the others and you can have some pretty good success with it. Okay, that pretty much covers it for Town Hall 11. As far as the new stuff, of course you still have miners. Um, you still have uh, drag back can work in situations. So don't wanna highlight the stuff that we've already seen so much on the channel, um, but this is some of the newer stuff that's coming into the meta here. Switching to Town Hall 10, of course a lot's also working at Town Hall 10, um, but I think Queen Charge has become one of the, the dominant strategies that's being used right now. You have so many options when it comes to what to attack with, it can almost be uh, to your disadvantage because you can use Miners, Hogs, uh, Dragons, you can use Falcon, um, Laloon, there's just so many options that it can come, sometimes be overwhelming. This was an incredible use of Wall Breakers here. Um, you don't have to be this precise, you can use a Jump Spell, you can use a Wall Wrecker, you can use a stone slammer to open things up. Um, you don't have to just be an absolute god with these wall breakers. But I wanted to show it because it was a cool attack and I think um, it, it was very creative here. So I like the use of the balloon here. The queen locks onto the golem. Meanwhile, the, uh, the inferno tower is just kind of eating these healers. So needs to get that inferno down in order to protect these healers and, and he does. Um, otherwise, the golem would have taken too long for the queen to destroy. But right here, very risky. He comes in with these wall breakers, they get past the wizard towers, there's two of them, and open up that next layer. So this could have been mostly done with a jump spell. Um, might have ran out actually because of how long this has taken, but um, you don't have to be that good with wall breakers like I said. But now that the queen's gotten this much value, still has you know several spells, still has the slammer which is very powerful at Town Hall 10, a lava hound to tank initially, and things just cut across the base here. Um, you don't have to be that precise with how you deploy, really, as long as you keep things relatively spread out. I think that's the, the important thing. Nice heal spell on those balloons. Um, Slammer still doing work here, some back end balloons, still sitting on a haste spell. Queen is still alive, gets that wizard tower, and then I believe he'll haste those balloons into that last air defense here. Um, here we go, yeah, gets those Teslas. Fast forward to the end here. 
I uh, love to use the Queen Charge Lalo, just make sure you have enough minions, you get them down early, so you don't run out of time. Alright, last one, number 33. This one, I think, um, you know, it's it's been a, a Town Hall 10 attack strategy for a long time, but I want to re-highlight it, because it can be overlooked, and I think it works a lot of the time. It's just... One, two golems down, wall wrecker with the bowlers, king, queen going in. And I think the power of this is if inside the base there's a great drop point for your wall wrecker, meaning the bowlers pop out, you rage them, you heal them, and you can just get a ton of value. Look for this strategy especially. In this case, let me pause it for a quick second. Uh, queen, several expos, all three of them pretty much. Um, you have the uh, bomb tower, and you have good bounces onto other defenses nearby. This is a great place to look to deploy that, because the bowlers hop out, they're going to take out pretty much everything in their path if you rage and heal them. Gets the pre-rage, the pre-heal down, they pop out. Unfortunately, that wall doesn't quite get opened up. That would have been nice right there. It was one hit away. Um, but still going to get some good bounces onto that second expo here. Uh, just crushes this core of the base. And it's the same concept for Frozen Witch. You want to have that wall record drop right where it can just destroy the core of the base here. And then because typically people put the spring traps on the back end, you know you're going to hit a lot of springs. So you want to make it so the entire core is done. The hogs should only be taking out like the last two layers on the back end. Don't make it too hard on your hogs because they're going to be hitting almost every spring trap in the base. They're going to naturally be dying because of that. Um, that last heal spell should have been used over that giant bomb. I mean, a ton of hogs died right there. So, this this one was closer than it had to be for sure. But, um, yeah, this this was a, a nice attack, good base identification to use the, um, the wall wrecker. Just drop it right in the middle of the base. That's the thing that's very powerful at Town Hall 10, because the defenses can't take out the bowlers under the heal spell. The rage just empowers them even more the level four bowlers already very strong at town hall 10 so look to use this um even still it's been something you guys may have seen for a while now but anyway um that'll do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this is what you want to be looking to use at each town hall level and also what you should be prioritizing when you're building bases what you should be looking to defend so that'll do it hope it helped and thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video Bisectatron out.